Hey guys, uh, today is another episode of uh, Now You Know and it basically deals with the uh, so-called uh, cheap handling fix or otherwise known as CHF and basically this is where you have a Class A motorhome uh, that, is, that sits on the uh, Ford F53 chassis and what happens is Ford, uh, I believe that, uh, I was reading on a bunch of forums and I believe that uh, Ford, whenever they send out these uh, chassis frames to the motorhome builders, these coach builders, uh, they put it on the soft setting and uh, basically, because they don't know what the weight is of the, uh, the, the box that's going to be built upon them. And then at that point, once it uh, gets to, to, to the uh, uh, whatever company that puts on that, uh, the, the, the coach, uh, you know, it's up to, basically up to them to do any final adjustments. And so most of them probably don't but anyways yeah I was reading a couple forums and one guy one gentleman he really did contact a Ford dealer and I uh, spoke to a Ford technician uh, and uh, they basically said that, that that was the soft setting and that uh, what you see here is the soft setting this is the sway bar that you see underneath the Ford uh, F53 chassis as you can tell my bushings right here it's hard to see but they're polyurethane it's polyurethane so, if you have rubber, you would just want to make sure to check it, uh, you know, probably 20, 30,000 miles, wh whichever interval that you feel whenever you do the, you know, your maintenance, just to make sure uh, that they're still good. But uh, otherwise, yeah, if not, what you can do is switch it out to polyurethane and not have to worry about it uh, as much. So, in this sense, uh, what I did is uh, I basically went ahead and uh, removed the bolt on this. So this requires a uh, 18, let me see, 18 millimeter socket. I use a 15 millimeter wrench to brace it on the side and what I did was I used a, a breaker bar to uh, break it out. Now when you remove this uh, bolt and you put it into this setting, this now will stiffen uh, the suspension, uh, the, the sway a little so it won't sway as much. And you would want to do this to the rear also. This is for the front. And uh, basically, the torque, not a lot of people mention in their videos what the torque is, so I have to start figuring out. But the torque was set at 66 foot pounds. So, what, after you're done adjusting this bolt to this, then you basically go ahead and uh, torque it at 66 pounds. Most people who do uh, this and they uh, tighten it down without torquing it, uh, what you notice is that when you drive, you hear like clunking motions whenever you know you turn or so all you have to do is go down there and, and retorque it and then that should go away uh, so aside from that you know majority of other videos that you'll see they basically already show you how to to, to do this I just wanted to mention in uh, my video uh, the, uh, the the foot pounds of torque because it wasn't uh, uh, mentioned in any of the other videos that I've seen uh, which were again very helpful showing what me what to do and all that so again this video is short it's just uh, uh, it shows you what to do with the cheap handling fix for the uh, Ford F53 uh, frame um, Class A. Uh, I have a Winnie Bagel, but majority that is on the Ford V10 6.8 liter uses the same frame. So, aside from that, what I'll do is once I uh, remove this, I'll see if I can get a clip of it being at the new setting. And again, the torque uh, on the bolt is uh, 66 uh, foot pounds. Uh, other than that, thank you uh, for watching my video. Again, uh, recommendations uh, on uh, making the video any better, I uh, highly uh, recommend. It always helps me become uh, a, a, a better uh, <laughs> cameraman, in a sense, and to make a, a little bit more understandable videos. So, um, I leave you all and hope that this helps. And this is another episode of uh, Now You Know. Thank you and have a great day.